Do you have another question? There, are you good? Okay, go ahead. Just heard you describe the infrastructure negotiations as the art of seeking common ground. At some point, does that become the art of the deal? I don't know. I, you're the professional here, joke. Peter. You're the TV star, <laughs> you know? Um, What's the Fox Chiron going to be? Uh, art of seeking common ground does take a, a lot of characters. Uh, it does. So it does. Control the art of the, of the deal. We'd be okay with that. Yeah. With the art of the deal, I think that's a headline. Well, there you go. A, art of, the, of a different kind of deal. A deal for the working people. Got it. Okay, um, go ahead. So on, Glad we could work that out. Thank you very much. Uh, on Israel, how much credit does President Biden think he deserves for the ceasefire that was negotiated by the president of Egypt? Well, first of all, the president's uh, focus was on one objective, which was bringing an end to the conflict as quickly as possible. As you know, and as, as, as our briefing day in and day out was evidence of, there was criticism, and as Darlene's question was evidence of, there was criticism coming from many sides. We kept our head down, focused on our strategic objective, focused on intensive, quiet diplomacy to uh, bring an end to the conflict as quickly as possible. Uh, our engagements with the leaders of Egypt, uh, what were, was a, the leader of Egypt was a key part of that discussion uh, and a key part of uh, bringing an end to the conflict, given their important relationships with Hamas. And I know, because we are just trying to understand all these, uh, the dozens of calls and who played what role. Mm -hmm. The president extended his sincere gratitude to President al-Sisi and the other senior Egyptian officials who played a critical role in the diplomacy. So if their role was critical, how does the White House describe President Biden's role? Well, again, Peter, I think what I can do here, what, what the president was conveying is that this was an effort, much of it coordinated by the United States, much of which he was involved in personally, uh, engagements on the phone, engagements with his team, uh, a, a commitment and a driving desire to keep the strategy aligned with what we knew uh, would help uh, bring an end to the conflict as quickly as possible. He's also someone who wants to give credit where credit is due, and that includes the role the Egyptians played and the role many countries in the region played in, uh, in working to bring an end to the conflict. And then quickly, and also his team. I mean, he called out Secretary of State Tony Blinken. He called out his National Security Advisor, and also our UN Ambassador Linda Thomas Greenfield, who played an important role here as well. Uh, quickly on immigration, the governor of Tennessee says that he was asked and he declined a Biden administration request to house unaccompanied minors. And in coming days or, or in recent days, there have been some reports that at least four planes filled with unaccompanied minors landed in his state, some in the middle of the night. Uh, can you explain what's going on there? Well, as we have been very clear about, children, uh, our objective is to unite these unaccompanied children, children under the age of 18, with families, with sponsor families, so children th traveling th were traveling through, have been traveling through Tennessee. Uh, they are simply on their way to unite with relatives and sponsors to meet sponsors in the state or just traveling through Tennessee until they reach another destination to unite with family members or legal sponsors. As you know, geographically, it's right in a place where, it, you know, there's a lot of states around it, so it's a place where some flights have gone through as uh, children are moving to other destinations. And since this was uh, something that the governor of the state said he didn't want, this is not a case of federal officials trying to sneak something past the state level officials. I, I think I'm confirming here that Tennessee is a state that is right near in the middle of the country, and some kids have to travel through, through there to get through their destination. And we've been very clear that our objective is to treat these kids humanely, get them to safe homes, especially homes of loved ones and sponsored families. Go ahead. 